we go back to about 1975 when we started doing this. So back in the Jurassic age, we were potters, functional potters making stoneware, functional kitchenware for everyday use. And then the whole process has sort of evolved uh, over a period of time of what we made. Yeah, and our first studio and gallery was called Sunshine Pottery Works. So that sort of tells you the timeline of what we've done. We work on everything together, so we start by uh, designing a piece, drawing it out, a lot of different ways of coming up with those kind of ideas. Some things come automatically, some come quickly, and some take more work to develop than others. It's really multi-dimensional. We don't look at clay anymore as just making dishes and that kind of thing. We make a full line of anywhere from Christmas ornaments to cups, to wall pieces, to tables, to lamps. We do the whole sort of spectrum of sort of home elements. Because we make such a wide range of pieces, we keep some of our clientele for a very, very long time, and they end up becoming friends. We go out to dinner with them. I mean, there's really a very close connection, and that's what we feel like this work does. It forges connections I think it's the technical part of it, the, the material itself really teaches you a lot, there's still a lot to discover. I mean, we never really take anything for granted as far as the firings go, uh, glaze application or anything like that, it's always challenging. Once it goes into the kiln, it's still, I mean, you can, you can feel like it's 90% of the way there, but until that um, uh, kiln opens up and you see it after the firing, then you know whether or not that you know, you've nailed it. And there's always something that can go wrong. So. Clay is a material that will keep you humble. I mean, I'm a painter. That's where I come from. Michael started out as a potter. I've always worked in clay, but I like to paint things on the pieces. So I wanted more color. <laughs> and it's as simple as that. Working on a singular body of work together has just been uh, a whole different um, way of working that we really didn't think was out there and, and it just worked for us. Once you've reached a point of competency, at least technically, you can relax into it and just enjoy it for what it is. So, you know, it's worth getting to that point, but then once you get to that point, I think it's it gives back to you and allows you to relax into the work totally. And the more you practice your craft, whatever it is, the more that you get a flow.